Hello everybody. Today in this PSLE 2015 paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 1. So, in my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there, but just learning the concepts is not enough. So, I'll help you understand the concepts truly so that you can apply these concepts into all types of questions. Okay, let's jump straight into question 1. Question 1. So, let's read the question first, okay? Zaliha bought 1.2 kilograms of grapes. How much did Zaliha pay? And they have given us an information over here which states that 70 cents per 100 grams of grapes. Okay, so that actually means that 100 grams of grapes cost 70 cents. Okay, so they have asked us to leave our answer in dollars and this question is awarding us two marks. So first, now that we have read the question, let's underline the key words. Okay. So, Zaliha bought 1.2 kilograms of grapes. Okay. And they are as and this is another important information over here, 70 cents for 100 grams of grapes. And also we must take note that how much the Zaliha pay actually refers to this 1.2 kilograms of grapes. Okay? So, let's move on to the first step. And, okay, so basically 1.2 kilograms has a different unit than 100 grams, right? Kilograms and grams. So, we should make the units the same. So I'm going to make 1.2 kilograms converted into grams, okay? So what I do is 1.2 kilograms convert into grams, we get 1,200 grams. So to convert from kilograms into grams, we basically times 1,000. And if you want to convert from grams to kilograms, we basically divide by 1,000, okay? So next step. Now is the part whereby we will apply the concept of grouping, okay? So, the number of groups is equal to 1,200 1, 1, grams divided by 100 grams, which is equal to 12. So, what exactly does the number of groups mean? So, number of groups means how many 100 grams does it take to make 1,200 grams? So, it takes 12 of them, okay? Now, in order to find, um, since we know that it takes 1200 grams to make 1200 grams, that is exactly what this statement means over here. So 1200 grams equal to 12 times 100 grams. Okay, so if we want to find the cost of this, this 1200 grams, which is also equal to 1.2 kilograms, okay, so we take... We know that 100 grams cost 70 cents, right? So basically, we take 12 times 70 cents because 100 grams is equal to 70 cents, right? So we get 840 cents. But this is not the answer yet because they are asking us to leave our answer in dollars, okay? So we must convert 840 cents into dollars. So... To convert from cents to dollars, we basically divide by 100, okay? We divide by 100, so we get $8.40, and this is the answer. But if you want to do the opposite, which is converting from dollars to cents, we do times 100. So, $8.40 times 100 equals to 840 cents, okay? So, this is how you convert from cents to dollars, okay? From this question, I hope you have learned the main concept of grouping and the conversion skills such as converting from kilograms to grams and grams to kilograms and converting from cents to dollars and dollars to cents. So, I hope you have learned something from this video and I hope you will benefit from this video and thank you, bye-bye, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!